Hi, I'm Dr. Stacy. Welcome to my video. Today I am going to share with you a naturopathic beauty tip to help you anti-age the eye area. Okay, so I don't know if you can see mine here, but they're not perfect. I don't have any makeup on, just on my top lid. It's completely concealer free, but Okay, so you know how we all have our trouble areas that we focus on? Mine is under the eyes. Okay, granted, I'm closer to 50 than I am to 40, but still, my eyes are like my weak spot, and I need to constantly be on them so that I am not getting these under eye wrinkles and crow's feet and all that stuff, right? So I've tried a lot of stuff, I've tried everything, and I just wanna share a story story with you which includes a really great beauty tip so this winter just a few months ago I was in the kitchen making a body better for myself out of coconut oil and shea butter and it was a really dry day like one of the first days that the furnace was actually turned on um, which means if you have a furnace it, the air is really dry right so my eyes felt like they were cracking my lips felt like they were cracking and in pure desperation sorry i'm doing my hair while I'm looking at myself in pure desperation i took some shea butter and i smeared it under my eyes on my lips and i swear i heard angels singing and my eyes felt about 40 years younger i was like ah oh. and i've been using shea butter for a long time but typically i've been using it on my body as a body better, which I love, but I've always avoided using it on my face other than my lips because my skin is so very acne prone. So it's been a no-go on the face. Um, but when I put it underneath my eyes, I was shocked by how amazing it was. And so of course, I like did a deep dive into the research to find out more about Shea Butter and I want to share this with you and I also want to share the routine that I use to help combat the signs of aging underneath my eyes. <laughs> okay, so first of all, Shea Butter. This is the Shea Butter that I use. It's by a brand called Oracacia and the brand's not really that important. It's more important that you use grade A unrefined Shea Butter. In this form you have you know the full abundance of vitamins we have lots of vitamin A we have lots of vitamin E in organic shea butter also a lot of great fatty acids oleic acid and stearic acid now one thing to note the oleic acid content of shea butter is 45 to 50 percent so if you do have acne Thanks, Holly. If you do have acne, don't smear this all over your face because it could clog your pores. So I, you know, some people use it on acneic skin with success, but if you're one of my patients, you know that I'm pretty conservative in my approach and I'm like, less is more, let's heal your skin from the inside out and use very simple skincare, which works amazingly well, by the way. Um, so yeah, don't use this if you have acne all over your face but just under your eyes it is really really good because there's not a lot of sebum that's produced under the eyes so it's really safe if you're not ac if you are acne prone if you're not acne prone you can try and smear it all over your face and you might get really really good results so Lots of vitamin A, lots of vitamin E, both vitamins are amazing for skin rejuvenation. But not only that, there's actually a bunch of research out there about shea butter. Two studies that have been published that show shea butter is anti-inflammatory and also has anti-tumor properties. That's pretty exciting. It's very healing to the skin. It regenerates the cells in a healthy way. That's what the research is telling us. So that's very positive. And then possibly the most exciting research that I found for our purposes under the eyes is that shea butter helps increase collagen production. That's like so exciting. That means if you put it underneath your eyes, collagen is going to start to be produced. So your eyes are going to continually get better and better <laughs> the more you use it. So 
You know, this is very exciting and I can't tell you how my life has changed since I started putting Shea Bunder under, under my eyes. It also prevents photo aging, which means it's going to lighten underneath the eyes and it also has a natural SPF of about six, so it's going to prevent sun damage to a minimal extent. I mean, it's not SPF 30, let's be honest, but it's pretty good, right? Hi everybody, welcome. <laughs> So, you know, I'm just really, really excited about Shea Butter. And in addition, not only does, is it very moisturizing because it contains all those great fatty acids like the stearic acid and the oleic acid, but it also seals in moisture, which is really important. So when you put it on, you know, moisture is not going to escape. And moisture does escape if you use some actives, like if you just use a hyaluronic acid or something, that moisture is just, just gonna like, bloop, you know, you know, evaporate right away. So you're not going to get, call me there. Putting shea butter on after you've put some actives on is actually really awesome. So I'm gonna share with you what I do for underneath my eyes and that's really made a difference for me um, because as I said, that is my problem area. So first of all, gently cleanse. And I mean, we've all heard this a million times. You don't want to tug and pull at the skin under your eyes because it is very delicate. So gently cleanse underneath your eyes. Um, and then in the morning, I put a niacinamide gel. And right now I am using the Ordinary's niacinamide gel. Okay, don't hate me, it's not completely natural, but it's pretty good. So I put this actually over my entire face, but underneath my eyes especially. And then I put, once that dries adequately, then I put some hyaluronic acid underneath my eyes. And again, I'm using the Ordinary. I'm using, oh, where is it there? The Marine Hyaluronics. And note, I do not put it all over my face because hyaluronic acid can make you break out if you are prone to acne. Not everybody with acne will break out with hyaluronic acid, but many people will because it's overstimulating for the skin. So after I put on the niacinamide, the hyaluronic acid, then you take a dollop of shea butter, warm it in the palm of your hand, and put it right under your eyes. Now. I'm gonna warn you that you're not gonna be able to put your makeup on right away. You have to let it sink in. So maybe brush your teeth, maybe do your hair. I don't know, but um, you might have to wait a little bit. <laughs> um, or if you've been using it for a while, you may not even need to put makeup under your eyes because as you get older, concealer will you know, kind of accumulate in the creases and can accentuate those fine lines even more. So be careful of your makeup as you get older. I'm not a makeup guru. I've been wearing the same makeup since I was 16. I swear I haven't changed, but just caution for that. Okay, and then what I do at night. Night is very similar to what I do in the morning, except every three nights, I will put a retinoid on my whole face, including under my eyes, and I use the Ordinary Gran Active Retinoid. That's what I'm using right now. It's great, it's in squalene. So, and it's not irritating at all. You might wanna start with a 2%. That's great, so I do that about three nights a week. And if I'm not doing the vitamin A, then I will do um, the niacinamide and the, oh, I just about dropped it, the niacinamide and the hyaluronic acid. If I'm doing the, retin, the retinoid, the retinol, it's a retinol. Um, then I'll just do the retinol and put the shea butter on afterwards. <laughs> so that is my routine for under my eyes and my eyes are improving guys. And this is a big deal for me because I've had a few points in the last year, especially because I work online, I'm on my computer so much, I feel like it's really aging my eyes. And I've had a few moments when I even considered getting Botox because one of my best friends is like one of the best injectors in the city and I was like, maybe I should. But then I stopped because my job is to deliver the best natural beauty stuff to you and I don't wanna 
you know, not be honest about what I'm doing to my own face. So I've not done Botox at all, but you know, but you know, you know, <laughs> I'm working hard ladies and I really discovered a good routine. So I wanted to share it with you. I have a question. Is retinol good for acne prone skin? It usually is. You have to start slow. You have to be gentle with it. Um, you have to use the right form because you don't want it to be too drying. When it's too drying, it's just going to aggravate your skin. You want to get really hydrated, moist, plump skin. That's the end game. And retinol doesn't always deliver that. This Granactive Retinoid in Squalene by The Ordinary is very gentle and it seems to be, I really like it so far. So that's when you may want to consider. All right. So hopefully that tip has been really helpful and I'd love to hear your experiences using shea butter under your eyes, on your lips. If you're not acne prone, smear it on your face. Tell me what you think. Um, it's really a game changer, especially for these Canadian winters. Um, we all need something, right? So I'm gonna sign off. Be sure to follow me on Facebook and Instagram. Also subscribe to me if you're watching this on YouTube. I come out weekly with some great naturopathic beauty tips. And also check out my eight week Aging Beautifully program. I have compiled all the latest research out there that teaches you how to age beautifully from the inside out. Because even though topicals are gonna help us our skin age beautifully, 90% of the aging, pro aging process is determined by lifestyle. So, you know, these topicals that I just shared with you, this is really just 10% of the equation. The other 90% is found in my eight week Aging Beautifully program. So have a wonderful day and uh, I look forward to seeing you on more of my videos. Bye.